well 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 I feel like this dark lip makes me look a lot older than I actually am I don't know if I like it or not dark lip dark colored top oh well whatever still cute though what's up you guys it's your girl Jess Koi here and welcome back I am like just loving the love and the responses I'm getting from you guys so I want to say right now from the top of my heart thank you so much for showing me your love support and um you know just that you rock with the kid you feel what I'm saying I really appreciate it I really can't thank you guys enough before we go into this video because I know by the title y'all just waiting and the tea been brewing and the cups are filled before we get to spilling tea make sure you guys go ahead and like this video if you have not already come and join the family and hit the subscribe button because we are lit okay and if you want to make sure that you never miss when I post go ahead and turn on that notification bell but I'm gonna stop rambling for the most part and I'm gonna jump right into the video <laughs> let me quench my palette first mm -hmm. good old tea so by the title of this video we are at part four of the beginning of the breakup series. There are three other videos before this one. If you have not watched those before this one, definitely take a second, pause this video. The links are in the description box below. You definitely want to get that tea so you're all caught up and we're all on the same page. For those of us that are caught up, sis, sit down, kick your feet up, and let me spill a tea about Tanya, the bowling alley, and then me and her conversation that transpired a little while after that, okay? This situation in particular happens. I want to say this had to be the second time that Joey had me around his friend. The first time I was around his friends in like a party kind of atmosphere was when I met his oldest best friend. We're going to call her Sheree at her birthday party, which was actually a couple of blocks away from my house. That was, I believe, the first first friend I met of his. After that, I believe uh, Sheree was actually in school. A couple of his friends that I was cool with, and I still am cool with, to this day were in school, and they invited us over for a Super Bowl party. I don't believe Tanya was at that Super Bowl party. If she was, I don't really remember interacting with her. I honestly don't remember. But there was a there was a hangout that happened prior to this bowling alley situation. So Joey and I are together at this point. I'm pretty sure we had been together for a while now. It had to, it was kind of cold actually outside. But we had got invited to go bowling with his friends at the local bowling alley not that far from my house it was me and joey and i don't necessarily remember how tanya got there i'm not sure if she was invited or if she invited herself kind of leaning more towards she invited herself but i could just be being messy it could just be me being messy <laughs> Besides the point, Tanya shows up at the bowling alley and she and I have very few words to each other. It kind of just was like, I just have no desire to actually talk to you and I really don't have anything to say. So I'm kind of just gonna keep you where I can see you. Now, this is where Ish kind of went left. The night was going fine. Everything was going good. There was like a group of Filipino Asian girls that kept walking through the bowling alley. Now, where we were seated and where our lanes were, we were at the back of the bowling alley, like at the back of it. So like by the lockers and stuff like that. So in order for anybody to go to like the concession stands and things like that, that might have been back where we were, they had to walk past us. This group of Asian chicks had walked by multiple times. Nobody paid them any attention. Tanya um, decides to give them the attention that they necessarily didn't ask for and almost got Joey in trouble because of it. They're all standing at the table. Now, this is kind of like those bar stool tables that you just kind of stand at. Sheree and myself are actually talking. Joey is behind me and Tanya is kind of catty cornered to me. Tanya and Joey are having a conversation and Sheree and I are having a conversation. So there are two conversations simultaneously going on. However, I 
I have this thing called like uh, she trying it ear and I can hear when another female is trying it when it comes down to me my family my friends or my man okay so my she trying it was on like super duper volume and you could say I was being nosy or whatever you want to call it but I was eavesdropping but then again they was talking two feet behind me so I mean sis I kind of heard what you said okay <laughs> We standing there having conversations or whatever. Now, keep in mind, this group of Filipino Asian girls never spoke to us, never came over, asked us if they could use a ball or ask anybody a question on how to bowl a strike. They paid us no mind. Tanya says to Joey, as if nobody else was going to hear her, yo, do you see those girls right there? Yo, ain't they cute? Now, my she trying it alarm was ringing so loud in my mind that I didn't even turn from my conversation I was having with Sheree. And all I said over, loud enough for Joey to hear me over my shoulder was, if you turn around, I'm gonna break your neck. That's all it took. If you turn around, I'm gonna break your neck. Sheree looked at me confused because mind you, I never stopped looking at her. Like we were having a conversation and I said, and if he turn around and look at them girls, I'm gonna break his neck. Then I turned around and looked at him. And he kind of was just looking at me like, oh, you heard. Tanya didn't say anything. Like, she just kind of was just standing there looking stupid. And I said to him, you know what? I'm going outside. Now, at the time, I smoked black amounts. I do not smoke black amounts anymore, but I, I used to smoke black amounts. And so I needed to go outside and smoke and clear my mind because I was about to get locked up or thrown out of this public establishment for what she said. The fact that you suggested to this man to look at other women while his girlfriend is standing two feet next to him is the ultimate disrespectful thing. I don't care what kind of best friend relationship you have. I don't care if y'all point stuff like that out to each other all the time when his girlfriend is not in the room i honestly don't give a damn but the fact that i was standing right there and you knew i was gonna hear you you know i don't like you he's told you i don't like you he's told you i got a problem with you and you go ahead and try and get this man killed in a public venue i don't understand why would you set him up like that he's supposed to be your best friend and you gonna set him up childish you're childish you're childish so i go outside and joey follows me he's like yo what's wrong with you da 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 this and a third i'm like yo bro i told you to correct the problem you didn't correct it i don't want to talk about it i'm we here we we sitting here for a little while we we pay for like extra games we gonna finish this game i said but she better not say nothing else to you for the rest of the night if she say something crazy i promise you you better get some bail money together i had an attitude with him the entire night sheree actually pulled me to the side and spoke to me and i told her what happened and she agreed it was an issue we had had a conversation prior to that where she expressed to me that she never really liked tanya as his as joey's girlfriend and sheree and joey have been best friends for over 15 years like they grew up together went to the same kind of schools their families knew each other like when i met her at her birthday party for the first time her mother called him son you understand what i'm saying so it was like they've been friends for so long it kind of didn't even make like any sense um and they had never dated they just weren't they were really like brother and sister so sheree was never on my you know my my meter of females to pay attention to because all of his friends were females and i got along with all of them except for tanya that situation happened the following situation that happened that brought me and tanya to talking was it was very it was something that would have been seen as insignificant had she not been such a problem before him and i were hanging out i believe in his room in his apartment and we just were spending quality couple time together and she like called him or something and she wanted him to go with her somewhere and he said i'm hanging out with koi right now and she made the comment along the lines of y'all hang out all the time bitch that's my man if we want to hang out and be funky all day and lay up in bed and do nothing but eat and watch tv or play video games and be merry and happy that is our business as his best 
friend, you should be happy that he's with somebody that's making him happy. Not the jealous ex that's worried what he's doing with his girlfriend. He want to hang out with his girlfriend since that's what he want to do. Why is you press? Get your own man. But moving along. So after she said that, I said, you know what? I'm not dealing with this no more. You tell her to come over to the house tomorrow night because I want to talk to her. I said to him, I said, I told you multiple times to address the situation. I told you to draw boundaries. I told you I didn't want to be the person that had to do it. But you thought I was playing. You thought it was a game. So now I have to correct it. Now I got to correct the situation. Tell her to come over.